What's good, YouTube? You already know, see guys in the building, ain't shit, ain't shit. Today I'm back with another tutorial, you know what I'm saying, fixing a subscriber's beat. You know what I'm saying? We about to drop the sauce right now, we about to drop the sauce right now, people. You know what I'm saying? Alright, so I ain't really gonna do much with the intro and this and that. I'm just gonna go straight to it and let's fix this beat, you know what I'm saying? Alright, so first I'm gonna play this beat and let's try to hear what it sounds like and then we're going, you know what I'm saying, we're gonna pull up hammer time. So let's play this beat and then let's see what we got right here. Alright, that's what the beat sounds like. First thing first, you know what I'm saying? The whole drum pattern is a mess. The melody is a mess. So, and the sound selection. You know what I'm saying? So, we going we gonna to start fixing this up. Change up a few of these kicks. Kicks kind of too soft, whatever. But, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to clear all these that I got right here. You know what I'm saying? Let me clear these off. Let me take these off real quick. Fruity limiter on the master channel. Okay. This should not be touched. Whenever you're mixing your instrumental, whether you're mixing a level and master, whatever this right here is a whole master for everything. This should not be touched. These right here is what you use to level each of your sounds. You feel me? Don't touch this right here. The only thing you just add your stuff to the master channel right here to bring the overall volume up feel me all right so first thing first let me hear what's i'm gonna split everything right here to zero you know what i'm saying let's reset everything right here And also, like, if you're resetting these stuff right here, the volume knob, you just press on Alt and shoot just left click and bam, you just go straight back normal. Oh, you can do that the same with these. Oh, shit. Damn. All right. So first thing first, all right, let me listen to this right here real quick by itself. Now, I need, oh. Not what I have in mind for that one. I felt keys on me just by itself. Let me solo this. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of these ghost notes right here real quick. And I'm just gonna like work with this chord progression right here. All right, I'm gonna take everything off of it right here real quick. And I'm gonna change the BPM and set it to like 100, maybe 102, you know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna just work with FL keys right here. Huh. Hopefully I get something out of, out of it. Okay, so the subscriber chose FL keys. I'm going to change that and put it on the dark piano. Right, and I'm going to put that to number one. And I'm going to like bring this down a little bit. Add premise EQ, drop that right there. Alright, let me grab some reverb real quick. I might just use a Valhalla Vintage Reverb. Let's just drop that down. I might just add like, where's that fruity, where's that fruity flanger, um, right here. Alright, so like, when it comes to this stuff like these, sometimes I just know the type of mixing plugins I'll be adding on to it. Alright, so I'm gonna see if I can fix this up real quick. But first, 
in the sample channel, I'm just gonna add the harmonic. No, I'm just gonna add the minor and just drop it on C, C minor. Also, I need to get my notes up. So go to view and keyboard style, modern labels, all notes, right? Let me just fill these out real quick. So that's like C minor right there. I like having, you know, a scale that I can work with. You feel me? It's good to have something that you can work with. All right, and that's it. So I'm going to pull up with the dark piano that I have right here. Uh, basically, this sounds like... Probably just turn it all into like a whole tropical vibe or something. Now, let me get rid of these. Even the 808 was off, so I'm going to clear this, clear that. Clear most of these right here. You know what I'm saying? Hi hats. I'm going to clear that. The toms, I'm going to take this out. Take out the those right there. Even this, I'm just going to get rid of it. All right, so I'm just going to work with the piano right here. Hopefully, I catch a vibe off of it. Now, let me drop this down right here. I kind of like that. I'm going to get rid of this right here real quick. Yeah, let me fix that up real quick. All right, let me drop that down an octave. You know, so control and down button. All right, so I'm just going to highlight the bass notes real quick. And just press shift and uh, left click on the mouse real quick. All right, so I'm just gonna drop the velocity down a little bit. Well, too low, too low. And then Alt R and adjust the velocity some more. Alright, let's all S real quick. Um, preserve in, then just hmm. I'm gonna just keep that. Now, let me get rid of these drums up here because I'm really going to change all this, to be honest. I'm really going to change that.
Mm-mm. Piano sounds real weird. I might just change that and just go for Nexus. Let's go in Nexus and just use. Because, uh, you know, sound selection is really important. So I'm just going to go for a grand piano soft. You know what I'm saying? Now you're going to hear what it really sounds like. And I'm going to drop the velocity down some more. So I'm just going to go off of the notes that I have in the chord progression. Um, probably the F. Let me see. F, F, F. What is that? F, man. And then we have C sharp, maybe. Uh, I may not just use that. Not what I was feeling. So right here, hmm, let me, what's the key that it says in, I right, should move like, all right, let me keep that on F minor and drop this on F minor real quick and, and see what that guy's right is an electric piano. So I'm just copy that. I'm going to copy, um, that call progression and pace right here. I'm gonna remove this 808. I don't really like the sound of that 808. All right, I like the sound of that electric piano. So what I'm gonna do with the electric piano, I'm just gonna have it right there and just, you know what I'm saying, cut this down real quick. Then I'm just gonna add Valhalla Vintage Reverb on it. And then I'm just gonna carry it up an octave. Or I could just put all the A, do it random and just. I think I like that. Let me carry that up an octave. Yeah, I like that. I'm not going to lie. I like that. That shit tough. I'm going to get rid of these, like, get rid of everything that's here. I'm not even going to use these sounds. Like, these sounds are just not working out. And this, I might just keep that. Well, so this is a piano chord progression right here. You know what I'm saying? Piano chords, and then we have electric piano melody. I'll probably just call it an arpeggiated melody. You know what I'm saying? Then now, I'm uh, this is flex, so I'll probably use I'm just gonna use a different stock plugin. I'm gonna go for harmless. Cause harmless got a crazy ass plug in it that I like. You feel me? Oh shit. 
Uh, let me go choose. All right. That doesn't sound too bad for that number three. Let's drop it down a little bit. Give it some hair room. Uh, let me just drop it. You know what I'm saying? All right, let me see. For the, the piano, the electric piano melody, let me just add these to it real quick. One, two, do, 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 do. All right, so for this, I'm just going to say... Yeah, let it sound a little bit more wider. Stereo separation right here. Instead of having it merge, just add a little separation to it. So for this... Face was I'll probably go for that shortly. I wonder if I can get one out of this plugin. Hmm, no, oh, no, I can get one, but I'm not ready to put that yet. All right, so I'm here. Yeah, let me copy this and paste it here and try something. And I had halftime to it, put that on too, and slap vintage on it. No, it's not going to work. Let me get rid of that. Let me get rid of that. Let me change the key real quick and see what I got right here. Oh, let me turn by the piano. Oh. My piano is off. Oh, yeah. Oh, it did not change the rule. Let me... Let me go for a dark base. Um, I don't really want to go for Massive X or Massive. I don't know if the subscriber have um, has all any of those plugins. I'm just going to go for a stock vibe. I'm just going to go in Citrus right here. Citrus has this dark base in it. Uh, where is it? D3. Yeah. And I'm just going to set that to here. And I'm going to cut that volume down real quick right there. So I'm just going to go off of my bass notes. Alright. Oh, shit. I forgot I have this on it. I don't want that there. Give me this.
that is what I'm gonna go for something in um should I put it in synth or um lead um, Oh, let me try that. Let me try that real quick. I have it in. Oh, forgot it's on there. Alright, so here goes nothing. Let me try some. Wait, why am I not? Wait, number four. Just gonna reload this plugin. Purity. Alright, it's on the. That's just gonna make it simple, I guess, not really too. You know what I'm saying? some delays on that. You know what, I'm just gonna go with Nexus. I get some leads in Nexus, I guess, that I got in some of these plugins right here. Um, Let's get rid of Thank you. 
me try a half timeline and see what I come up with. Sure, if I got that was over. Doesn't sound too bad, you know what I'm saying? Alright, so I'm just gonna go with the drums right now real quick before I add anything else. I'm just pulling up uh, this right here. Put that there, drop that down. favorite kicks right here from my R&B drum kit that I have right here real quick. Doesn't sound too bad. I like that. I like that. I'll probably change this sound though. Like, I'm gonna change this sound real quick.
might have to change this though. I'm gonna get rid of number four. Get rid of number four. Um, I just wanna put stuff that you know what I'm saying. My subscriber can so that when my subscriber load the whole thing up, all the signs are there. You know what I'm saying? So.
Yeah, that, that don't sound too bad. That don't sound too bad. It came with the top of my head, feel me? Yeah, I like that. Say she want to go, da, 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 da. Yeah, you feel me? Like, yeah, she real, like. Yeah, 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 Just copy these over real quick. And also when you're placing your 808s, you got to make sure the 808 is in the same key as everything else. And make sure you go off of the root note. You feel me? Alright, so it's C. And this one up to like C sharp. And then we had this motherfucker way out the F. Let me just do that real quick. That real quick, that real quick. For this, that is just a basic way for the whole dance saw thing that you can learn from. You can use these steps to help you out. You feel me? I may change this right here and just use something more simpler. To tell you the truth, it's all right, but I need something different. Uh, let me copy this real quick page right here. Let me try so.
try some different. I know I could just highlight all of these and use the transpose method, but I want to show y'all my steps at times. You feel me? So. Alright, so for now, I'm just going to go and add open hats and other stuff to it. So I'm just going to go here and just... I might just use this and just drop that down right there.
And then here we go. Alright, for my kick and my 808 on a kick, I'm just going to do one last thing before I end this tutorial. And then uh, my 808 is right here. Copy all my kick. Paste it on base. So it's like a side chain. Change that a little bit. Now for my 808, go here. Link to controller. P controller there. do this you can't control the eight away with this knob anymore like it's gonna come back up so you control the eight away with this knob now and you see when you choose good sounds you don't really be doing a whole lot of mixing and a hell of a lot of that stuff and I don't really did too much to it and bam B sounds good There we go. That's basically it for this tutorial right now. Thank y'all for tuning in. And we hopping out of this right now. And shit, I almost did like an hour. And so we just going to post this up. And y'all already know. Peace out.